Hey YouTube, I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the GC Maple Ridge add-in card from Gigabyte. So this card is supposed to be compatible with Gigabyte's X670E uh, AMD AM5 motherboards, which we have covered extensively on the channel. Um, so I'm going to be putting up a little bit more content on that platform. Basically, you have to have the either the Thunderbolt 4 card, which is what this is, so essentially, anytime we're talking about Thunderbolt 4 or Thunderbolt 3 on an AM5 or maybe an AM4 platform uh, or even Threadripper, uh, it's always it's always in the it's always USB 4 um, as opposed to Thunderbolt. So you, technically, it's unofficial Thunderbolt support. But the thing is, Intel did contribute a lot of the uh, standards verification of from Thunderbolt 4 and Thunderbolt 3 to the USB 4 standard. So, uh, yeah, it's basically USB 4, but it's, it's batteries compatible with USB 4. So that's essentially what we're looking at. We're looking at adding USB 4 to a Gigabyte X670E Aorus Master uh, motherboard. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So you open it up here, and it looks like you get the, right off the bat, you get the Thunderbolt Maple Ridge card, or the Gigabyte Maple Ridge card. Alright, so it looks really nice. You have... Uh, let's turn it upside down. So from left to right, you have two mini display port in. So these are input. Typically you take the output from the graphics card and you plug it in here. And this gives you an output on this side, so you get one display port out, um, and then you have two USB-C form factor, they're Thunderbolt 4 ports. And I believe you can do video out of these as well. So I'm gonna be playing around with it. We're gonna be showing how to install it in uh, the A670E motherboard. So if you're interested in getting USB 4 working on uh, AM5, so on the back of the card, you get two optional PCIe, so these are six pin PCIe connectors. So these are just like the cables that would go into the gra graphics card, for example. And then you have a USB 2 header. So this is so that you have a USB 2 backwards compatibility with, your, with this card. So, um, and then here is where it gets really interesting. So these two, these are the Thunderbolt headers that connect to the motherboard. So you have a 5-pin and you have a 3-pin. I believe the 5-pin corresponds to the THB underscore U4, if I'm not mistaken. That's the connector on the Gigabyte motherboard. So this is the one that we are going to be plugging in. And then this one is a 3-pin header, which is also a Thunderbolt header. Um, but I think if you're connecting this to a traditional Intel motherboard, like a Z690, for example, which I might also showcase on the channel at, at some point, um, you would connect both the 5-pin and the 3-pin. I think this is the C1 and this is the C2, or it's the other way around, I forget, but it's THB underscore C1 and THB underscore C2 uh, in the Gigabyte motherboard manual, and I think they're also labeled on the motherboard. Um, but I think in the case of... AMD, we're only going to be using the 5 pin. As far as I know, there is no 3 pin header. And I believe the difference is, if I'm not mistaken, it's very hard for me to find info on this. So if somebody's watching this video and they're familiar with Thunderbolt Standard and they know what the difference is between the 5 pin and the 3 pin header for the Gigabyte add in cards, uh, please leave a comment below letting everybody know because I'm not really sure. Uh, I, if The way I understand it currently is the 5 pin is for hot plug and sleep compatibility and then the three pin is force power um i think you have like your your uh, plus minus volt and there's like a ground pin on here and then i, I don't know what the pinout is on this one um, but if anybody knows uh feel free to leave a comment it would really help us out so that's the thunderbolt and card itself so if we move on what else is in the box so it looks like it's a bunch of cables. So you get two, uh, this is display port, full size display port and mini display port. So this is display port out to mini display port in. So these are what you would use to connect to the display input 
uh, and I can't just set it up as a display input. So you would plug in uh, this end, so it has me display port. You plug the display port in into the output device, whether that's an external device that you're trying to capture the video on, or uh, it's uh, from your own graphics card you're going to do pass through. So you plug it in here on the other end, and that would feed the video into the card, and the card will then output it here on the display port out. So you, I think you can drive up to an 8K 60 hertz monitor with that. If I'm not mistaken, and, and you can do like two uh, 4K 60 out, or maybe it's one display, one one 8K 30 and two uh, 4K 60. If I'm not mistaken, so that's, you get two of those in the box. So that's really nice. So you don't have to go hunting for this specialized cable. Uh, and then the, the other thing we got in here is we got a bunch of other cables, and then you have a gigabyte installation guide. Uh, and then a gigabyte, I think you get the uh, the driver C, which is really rare these days. So you get those, we'll just put that over there. And then, so for the other cables, this is the five pin. You can see the five pin header right here. Um, this is the part number. If anybody's wanting, I'll just leave this here. You can pause the video if you need this uh, part number for this five pin header cable. And then this is the three pin header cable. So there's the part number there. And this is the one that I don't think we'll be using um, for the AMD build, but for the Intel one, I think we will use this. And then finally you get a USB two pin uh, interconnect cable. So you would run one of these, one, one of these will go onto the back of the motherboard here in the middle. And then the other end goes to a USB 2.0 header on the motherboard. Uh, and there's the part number right there. All right, so that's basically it. Uh, I will be showing how to install it in the AM5 PC. And then it, uh, one thing I will note, it, officially it has to be a Gigabyte motherboard. I don't know if it'll work in a like an Asus or an MSI or an ASRock or a Biostar, but uh, if I can get an Ace board in at some point in the future, uh, I'll try to plug it into the ACE board on the, it's a, it's PCI Gen 3 by 4 so you have to have electrically uh, at least an X4 uh, slot, expansion slot in the motherboard. So that's it for this video guys and I hope you enjoyed the content and if you like this video please leave a like and stay tuned for more info in the future and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks.